Hey, what's up everybody? Premiums are starting to shoot up on these 2022 silver bullion coins, although the premiums are starting to go up on one more so versus the other. And I would have thought it would have been the other one that the premiums would have been going up more on. But we're going to discuss all of that in this video. If you don't mind, please hit the thumbs up button on this video and definitely leave me your thoughts, your opinions in that comment section down below below. So I've been looking at a number of online bullion dealers this morning. I like to do that every so often just to get a feel for where the market is, what the premiums are up on. And the premiums are going up. Availability is changing for the 2022 silver bullion coins with Queen Elizabeth III on them. I've been noticing a few trends and in my opinion, none of these trends are very promising for getting these coins at a reasonable cost. It seems like a lot of people are rushing out trying to buy up all of these silver bullion coins with Queen Elizabeth III on them before the switch over to King Charles. Now the big question is, when is that switch over going to take place? I don't have the answer for that. I don't think anybody really has the answer for that at the moment. I've asked a number of online bullion dealers. I asked my local coin shop. Nobody knows when the switch over is going to happen for any of these coins, either circulating coins or silver and gold, platinum, palladium, bullion coins. Which one is going to have King Charles on them first? Is it going to be coin in circulation? Is it going to be bullion coins? None of us really know. But it does seem like a lot of people are running out and creating a run and creating more demand and shooting up prices and also changing the availability for a lot of these coins. I would have thought that if there was going to be a run and if premiums were going to shoot up more so on one of these versus the other, I would have thought that the run would have been on the Britannia. But it seems like I was completely wrong about that because these are available and a little bit cheaper on a lot of the online dealers versus the Canadian Maple Leaf. Now, I've said it before on many videos if I was going to buy a silver bullion coin, the one that I would be focused on buying more than any of them, the one that I really like the most, in my opinion, is the British Britannia. It's got a lot of cool security features. At the moment, I like this one more than any of the other ones. However, the premiums seem to be going up a lot more on the 2022 Canadian Maple Leaf with Queen Elizabeth III on them. Now, I was at my local coin shop the other day and they are expecting to get 2023s in soon. So it's possible that maybe the 2023 Canadian Maple Leaf is going to be the first one that's going to be released and the British Britannia may not be until later. But the premiums have gone up a lot on these 2022 Canadian Maple Leafs. Some of the premiums that I have been seeing as of this morning, as of the recording of this video on September the 22nd, is about $6.09, give or take. All online dealers, local coin shops, all dealers are going to be different. But the premiums seem to be really going up faster and the availability seems to be a lot worse on the Canadian Maple Leaf. Now, I would have thought the availability problems would have been more so on the Britannia because the Royal Mint has been shut down for about three weeks for a period of mourning or bereavement after the Queen's passing. I would totally have expected the premiums to be more so up on this coin and the availability to be unavailable or not available on this coin more so than on the Canadian Maple Leaf. However, regardless of which one currently has the higher premium or which one has the most availability at any of these online dealers, I would be very cautious, in my opinion, paying high premiums for any of the silver bullion coins with the Queen's image on them for a couple of reasons. One reason is we don't know when the switchover is going to take place from Queen Elizabeth to Charles. Now, it's very possible and probably even likely that 2023 coins are going to also have Queen Elizabeth III on them. And I don't think 2022 coins 
bullion coins with Queen Elizabeth III on them is going to be very collectible because I think there's a lot, there's a ton of coins out there with her image, with her likeness on them. The switch over is actually going to be in 2023. There may be a lot less with her likeness on them in 2023 because it's very likely and possible that the switch over is going to take place on all the coins in 2023. So maybe we're going to see the Maple Leaf, the Britannia, the Kookaburras, the Australian Perth Mint Kangaroos, all of these coins that have the Queen's likeness on them, it's possible that they're going to also have her likeness and images on them in 2023. Now, we don't know that for sure, but even if we don't have any 2023 bullion coins with the Queen's likeness on them, I still find it, in my opinion, this is not financial advice, this is all just my opinion, but I find it very unlikely that there's gonna be any sustained collectability of these bullion coins for 2022 with the queen's likeness on them. Why? Because there is just, in my opinion, again, just way too many of these bullion coins with her likeness on them. I believe the higher premiums that we're currently seeing on them, I believe that's gonna be very short-lived. I think it's just in the moment. I think it's a hype thing more than anything else. And I just can't see that these high premiums on these coins for 2022. We're seeing much higher premiums, of course, on the secondary market. A few of the online dealers have reasonable premiums on them, and then they're going way overboard on the secondary market. The question is, is that going to continue? And I just don't think it's something, in my opinion, that's going to be something that's going to be able to be sustained. These very high prices, premiums, on these coins, 2022 silver bullion coins with the queen's image on them because there's just way too many of them. Now, certain collectible coins may be different. Actually, I am seeing better prices for the 2022 Yale Tudor Beast than I am seeing on the one ounce Canadian Maple Leaf or the one ounce British Britannia, which is very surprising, even though we don't know if the Tudor Beast is gonna have any sort of collectability, what the mintages are gonna be, how many of those are gonna sell, but I would think that there would be more collectability with the Tudor Beast coins than there would be for either the 2022 Silver Canadian Maple Leaf or the 2022 British Britannia. But definitely let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below. Give me your thoughts, your opinions, smash that thumbs up button. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot everyone. Unfortunately, as far as premiums go, you definitely can't run to these because even though the premiums on these coins with the queen on them are out of hand, the premiums on these are twice as bad.